Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is episode number two of my uh, figure reviews. Uh, episode one saw me review uh, Survivor Series Heritage The Rock. If you missed that, um, just check out my channel. It's there, along with uh, some other embarrassing crap. Uh, hopefully you liked the figure review, and now you're watching part two. Um, I appreciate any and all constructive criticism. Uh, hopefully these things get better as we go on. Uh, it's not like I'm going to stop collecting. I still have about oof, at least six figures in my box that need to be opened and reviewed. And Lord knows the countless others that I have on order. So today we are reviewing... WWE United States Champion Antonio Cesaro. I wonder if that creeps anybody out, seeing my head peer over the package. This is Cesaro's first WWE figure. And you take a good look at him inside the package there. And we'll turn him around and we'll take a look at what's going on in the back of the box. There you see. Uh, let's focus that a little bit better. There we go. We got Cody Rhodes, Kofi Kingston, Wade Barrett, Cesaro, Brodus Clay, and Ryback, who's harder to find than a needle in a haystack. And I came up with a decent analogy this time. Cliche, but decent. As you see Cesaro inside his box there, you see this wacky... Uh, happy trail thing going on in his abdomen, and then this chest hair here. Um, when I first saw the Cesaro figure online, I was a little hesitant in getting him because it one, you know, it's kind of like goofy looking the way they painted this on. But seeing how uh, Cesaro is one of my uh, new favorites in WWE, I absolutely love love the way the guy works in the ring and his uh, character. It's a shame that. Almost uh, a shame that Jack Swagger had to come back because, you know, the way Cesaro was, you know, wearing the American uh, flag tights and uh, carrying around the American flag. Rocky IV, see? Uh, being the uh, anti-American American or whatever the hell he was doing, he was great in that role. Uh, absolutely great. And then all of a sudden Swagger King comes back with his... Um, America, America, uh, this is Jack Swagger's America gimmick. Uh, Cesaro's really had no direction whatsoever. I mean, he's gone back to the plain black tights and uh, not really much of anything as we sit about two weeks away from WrestleMania. It'd be a real damn shame that he's not going to be on the card as it looks. Um, I would have liked to have seen him face you know, a guy like Chris Jericho. Give him like 10, 12 minutes, let them go, work in the ring, and gives uh, Cesaro a great, will give Cesaro probably a great win over a legendary competitor like Jericho. Instead, Jericho's going to be sitting there playing around with fucking Fandango. Give me a fucking break, huh? Uh, Vin only Vince McMahon would, first of all, name a guy after a movie ticket website and then have another dancing gimmick when he's already got. Two fat jerk-offs dancing now. Why? Because this is ballroom dancing with a in-shape guy? Give me a break. No one gives a shit. Anyway, back to the task at hand. Reviewing Antonio Cesaro. Let's get this son of a bitch out of the box. This is like, this is like the, my favorite part of collecting figures is when you actually get to open them. And then they have such a unique smell. I'm, I, I know I'm not the only one that smells the figures when they come out of the box. Oi, yeah, that's, I don't know, this is like so weird, it, it, it looks like, uh, like a, like a painted tree bush or something, look how, that's just like shitty, man, and then you could see here how dark his hair is, and how dark his beard is, I mean, that's not Cesaro, Cesaro wears a very light scruff and on his beard and on his hair. And then here is... These things are fucking horrendous. Holy shit, man. Look at... These are his, his rugby pad things that he wears that make his character unique. 
and his ring attire, but just like painted on here, painted on garbage. Uh, the tights are decent. You can see he's got the little Swiss logo going on there with the AC. I mean, this is, and for a guy as in shape and built as uh, Cesaro, Cesaro's not a small dude. He's, he's a very tiny figure. I was going to go grab another figure to compare, so just hold on a second. You and Antonio have a moment together. Here you can see this is my uh, WrestleMania Heritage Series uh, Macho Man Randy Savage. And just everything about the Savage. Cesaro, there you can see, he's a little a little bit taller, but the arms, the legs, the chest, everything is bigger on, this, on the Macho Man figure than it is on the Cesaro figure, and especially uh, WrestleMania 5, uh, you know, I don't know, Savage blew up late in his career, when he especially was in WCW, but it's, from the time that figure was made, Cesaro's a bigger guy, was, and they missed his trademark, he, ha he doesn't even have nipples. There's no nipples on this figure. We know how big his are. I mean, come on. A little uh, attention to detail here. All the basic movements that a, a basic series figure has. Uh, head rotates, arms up and down. All this other bullshit. I'm sure you don't want me to sit here and uh, move the figure around. But I gotta say, I'm very disappointed in this figure. Uh, I would like to see what they do for an elite. It's uh, as far as I know, there, there's probably one scheduled, but anything that I've seen, I haven't seen one out yet. But you got to think they're going to do a better job than this. This is absolutely terrible. I'm sorry, it doesn't even look like you. You tell me this looks like Antonio Cesaro. Is this Antonio Cesaro? No, garbage. Uh, I've been very high up on the Mattel line. I think they've done a great job with their figures. Even the basics are better than, like, Jack's Classics, which were their version of Elite figures. But that Antonio Cesaro is dog shit. If I didn't pay 22 bucks for him online, yeah, I know. And today, I found him in fucking Target for fucking uh, 12 or 9 or whatever kind of crazy-ass number Target charges. I would feed him to my dog. But, you know, it's the first Antonio Cesaro figure. I'll keep it around. Uh, I may look to trade it or sell it. Um, if a better elite comes along or even if they give him another um, basic figure that's better than this. Um, I got to say, overall, the figure, 2 out of 10, if you want to put a score on it or something. Um, they didn't mess up his tights. His tights are the nicest part of his uh, whole entire figure there. It's a real shame because Cesaro was a great wrestler. He had a great character going on before they just threw him to the wayside. They threw him worse than I just threw the figure. Anyway, that's my review of the Antonio Cesaro. Um, what series is this? I believe it's 27. Who the hell knows? It's, it's uh, basic 27. Um, that's my review. Uh, check out my other reviews. Um... I'm debating which one to review next. I really want to open up Ryback. I really, really want to open up Ryback. So I may do him next. Or I have an Elite 19 Kane that I want to review because I have a fun idea in my head that for the video. But anyway, this is Christian Michael. I uh, hope you enjoyed my review of Antonio Cesaro. And as Rocky said when he knocked out that Russian guy, if you can change, I can change. We all can change. Words of advice to live by. See you later.